Oh, this is Fortnite Loser with part two of Elden Ring Iron Man mode. And uh, yeah, if you saw episode one, I survived an encounter with that a hole over there, riding his four legged friend. And I got Sanctuary. So let me turn this. I've got the uh, order open at the minute, the menu. Here. Yeah, so I, I found Sanctuary in this church, if that's what it is. I don't know what it is. I've never noticed the moon in this game before, actually. I assume that's the moon. Oh, no, that's the moon. <laughs> so is that the sun? So the sun is bloody tiny in this game, and the moon's massive. There's the moon there, you can see it. Moving past the clouds. Right, yeah, so just to explain, if you're new to this series, uh, Iron Man mode means you die, that's it. Game over for this character, for good. And they're currently on level 10. And they're called... Oh, I don't even remember the name, but let's see if we find out. It's something like Hexamillion... Oh, here we are. Hexamillion Adore. It's a character I created a few years back from... Um, yeah, I've really used it. So, I want to avoid that thing, and it's on some path going up and down there, so I'll just go down here. So I'm playing this, like, real life, basically. That's what Iron Man mode is. Imagine you're being dropped into a game in real life. You're not going to go and confront someone like that, are you? What you're going to do is try and build up your character and see how it goes from there. Pick your fights wisely. And if possible, avoid fights. What benefit do you get from fighting? Not much. One benefit you get from fighting, actually, is you get good at fighting. But when you play in Iron Man mode, you can forget that. No chance. If you want to get good at fighting in Iron Man mode, that means you're going to die before you can learn. Right, another huge danger in this game is like falling, as in real life. You know, in real life, where I am now is extremely dangerous, but it is in this game. You know, drop down there, that's game over. So we need to keep away from that. There could be a way down. Right, okay, I think I can probably... Right, because my health is so small at the minute, I can't really risk it, but I think... I, it's that long since I've played the game, I don't remember how to heal myself. Uh, Flask of Prisms and Tears is highlighted, so I'll somehow figure out how to use that. There we go. Right, okay, so now I think I look forward to drop down here and survive. Oh yeah, I didn't even lose any health there. Let's pick up these magic mushrooms. There's more there. Yeah, I'm not advocating the use of magic mushrooms in real life, by the way, but it's just they're there in the game, so why not? Okay, nowhere near the beach. 
so we're just going to follow the cliff edge for a bit. And now we're stuck. Right, yeah, so I definitely uh, thoroughly recommend this as a way to play the game, by the way. You know, it's uh, any game in Iron Man mode is worth it because it gives you a sense of danger that you don't experience otherwise. Like, oh, Jesus, now there's danger right there. I'm not going to think about it. But at least I've got a way down to the beach now. But yeah, that sense of danger is what you experience in real life. You have innate voices saying to you, do not do this, you put yourself at risk. And that is... Um, sort of... Neutralised almost by computer games. You just think, oh yeah, I'll see if I can fight this person. If not, I'll find out their attack moves. And then I'll eventually beat them. And it takes away the immersion of the game. If you want immersion from a game, which is what I want. Like, this is an immersive scene here, for example. You know, it's not worth it. Risking going for that creature, whatever it is. There's two of them. But it's a nice, you know, this could be Blackpool Seafront. So you just imagine yourself on Blackpool Seafront and then these are crawling on the beach. You're not going to go near them. But I think I can outrun these little idiots. So let's see. Hello. Well, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. As I thought, I can outrun them. Oh, Jesus, that was close. Bloody hell. Right, okay. I've learned my lesson there. I've survived a very, very... Oh, my God, and this bloody... Ogre could be coming back now. Oh, shit. No, it's still up there. Right, I think we'll leave it there. Um... You know, it's a fine illustration what we've just been through about what Iron Man mode is in this game. Last of the least, the babies.